Well, hello there, my amazing artists. Welcome back to Art with me, Mrs. Knowles. We're going to be making a collage today based on the art of artist Alma Thomas. Here is a picture of her artwork. Isn't that cool? So we would describe this as abstract, right? Because you see shapes and you see colors and you see lines, but you don't necessarily see a picture of something, right? But it could remind you of something. Does this remind you of anything? The title of this artwork is called The Eclipse. So does it remind you of an eclipse? It definitely reminds me of an eclipse. All right, so let me show you my own collage and then we will get started. All right, so here is my own Alma Thomas inspired collage. Isn't that cool? I love it. So I'm gonna show you how I did this and there's several steps and they're gonna take a little bit of patience, but I think that you guys are gonna do a great job with it. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna show you is the color wheel. So if you do not have a color wheel at home, you could always pause the video on this part so you can look at our color wheel. But basically the colors in our collage, you're gonna go around the color wheel as you put your colors on. So let's take a look back at my example. So I started with purple for the center or violet and then I moved to red. Okay, so I'm going this way and then I moved to orange and back to red to orange. Yellow, here's yellow, light green, yellow green, green, yellow green, green. And what's next? Blue green. And then I have light blue, blue green, regular blue. And then I'm down to blue violet. Vi well, this is kind of a red violet, isn't it? So I'm going all the way around and then when I and then I should get back to red, which starts it back here again. So you are going to go choose a color to start with and go all the way around the color wheel until you get back. And that's kind of your pattern as you go down. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make this circle for the inside. So you can choose whatever color you'd like. I have a whole rainbow of colors here for myself because I'm gonna need these for my paper on, for my collage. So I've got these papers. First, I'm gonna do my circle. Now, what I did was I took something to trace and I put it down and traced it just to make it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna use my pencil. Of course, if you don't have something to trace, you can just use, um, you can just like draw it freehand, right? And cut this out. And then I'm gonna choose a spot on my paper to put my circle. It can go anywhere you want. It can be near the top of the paper. It could be in the middle. It could be near the bottom. I think I'm gonna do mine closer to the bottom this time. So I'm just opening up my glue. Remember when it's open, you can see a little space right there. A line of glue. All right, that's gonna go. Now I'm using this type of glue because I like it better. If you have a glue stick, you could also use a glue stick. So that's up to you. Okay, so now's the time when I'm gonna start building circles around circles around circles. And so the first step for that is I need to take my rainbow colors and decide how I'm going to put them in order. So I think I'm gonna start with red. So let's find the red. Okay, I'm gonna do the red first, and then I have an orange, and then yellow. What comes after yellow? I have a yellow green. Yellow green, and then green comes after that, right? Okay, I've got the green, I've got the yellow green. And now blue green, I think I had a blue green. Yes. So blue green next, and then blue. So I actually have a light blue, so I'll put the light blue first, and then the blue, 
And what comes after blue? Blue violet, violet, red violet. So I think this one is violet. So I'll put that one next. And this one is a red violet. So I'll put that last and then I'm back to red. Okay, I've got them in order, I'm ready. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take, since I'm starting with red, I'm going to start tearing my paper. Now there's a couple ways to tear this, so I'm gonna show you. And you, you might need to test it on your paper. When you tear your paper a certain way, it should just go in a strip. So let's see if I can do that. That was pretty good. Now, if you want it to be a little bit more accurate, go sl go more slowly. Let's see how I'm just taking my time with this one to make it a little bit straighter. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that one better than this one, which kind of went a little bit wonky. Now, if I do it the other way, it's not gonna go in a straight line. You can do it that way, you're just gonna have to be more careful as you do it. See how it kind of wants to go off in different directions? And that's okay if that's what you want. Okay, so there's two ways that you can do this because I want to see some small shapes as well as some large shapes. Like if we look back at my example, do you see how some of these are bigger and then I had some really thin ones there as well? So the way that I made the thin ones was I just did a regular piece, it's about an inch wide, and then I carefully tore it down the middle. You see how I'm going one direction and the other direction as I'm tearing it? And now, as I'm done with this, I'll have two thinner pieces. So I can just make those into thin pieces and I can take thick pieces as well. So I wanna see both thin and thick. So I'm gonna start and do my red going around my circle. I'm gonna do one layer of red. All right, so did you notice that as I put these down, I left a little bit of space in between each shape, and that's because when you finish this, it's gonna remind you of a mosaic. So a mosaic is usually made out of stones or tiles, and we're doing ours out of paper. And it has, so what you break the stones to make these little pieces and it forms a picture. So, and we're also, these shapes are also organic because we tore the paper, right? So they give you kind of a wavy edge, which means they're not gonna be perfect, but that's what we like about them. So, so far we've got a geometric shape on here, small organic shapes, but then the organic shapes put together form another circle, which is a geometric shape, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going through my color wheel. So my next color is orange, right? And I'm going to do a couple layers. I'm, I think I'm gonna do like thin and thick layers, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I finished my red and my orange, and you can see I was kind of making a pattern, red, orange, red, orange, and I'm gonna start on my yellow. Now, when you get to the edges, you want to just kind of leave your paper hanging over the edge because we will trim this with our scissors when we're done. So don't really worry about those little ones hanging over the edges. Just continue to make the circle grow bigger and bigger. So my, for my yellow, I'm gonna have it here, right? Here, going all the way around, but then I won't have any over here because I ran out of room, right? Okay, so my next step is my yellow. And if you're doing this at home and you're thinking, wait, I don't have enough colors of paper to do this. Well, I would encourage you to think about 
different materials that you can use, right? So for example, watercolor would be a really great thing to try. Watercolor gives you kind of a similar wavy edge that these shapes have. You could try um, oil pastels. So, you know, th think outside the box a little bit if you don't have enough paper to do this project the way I'm doing it. All right, so I have finished my design. I went all the way to the edges and I covered them. You can see I have a lot of pieces sticking out, but that's okay, because we're gonna trim it. Although it looks kind of cool this way, doesn't it? And um, if, like, I just let my paper dry for about 30 minutes before I'm gonna trim it with my scissors so that the glue gets a chance to really stick on there. So you might wanna think about that too as you are doing it. Now, as we look back, do you see how you can see the white paper in between each of the shapes? So that's what I should see on your paper too, is you can see that white paper underneath the colors so that each shape, each of these special little organic shapes are separated by a white space. All right, so let's cut the edges off. So when you wanna cut the edge, you're gonna flip it over to the back so that you can see which parts are sticking out and then you're just gonna carefully trim those off. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, you have completed your Elma Thomas collage. Can you believe it? So beautiful. If you are like me and you cut your edges when your glue was still a little bit wet, you might wanna carefully rinse off your scissors so that, there's, so that they're not sticky anymore and you get all that glue off. All right, artists, I hope you had a great time making your Alma Thomas collage, and I can't wait to see what you create. I'll see you later, bye-bye. <laughs>